my petal babes welcome back to another video it's me andrea and this is actually another one of my impromptu videos one that i just decided you know what since i'm doing it let me just go ahead and film it edit it and upload it this video is actually going to be an empty home tour um i've made it to fort bragg i've finally secured housing for me and my family and my furniture and stuff is due to be delivered today but before it got here and it's really early that's why i'm trying to whisper but um my furniture is due to be delivered today and i just decided to go ahead and try to film um and show you guys this empty apartment because it's actually a really nice apartment i was so surprised i heard so many not so good things about um fort bragg's housing but i actually really like this um so i'm going to show you guys it empty and then stand by because i have some plans for this place that i think you guys are going to like so there will be a follow-up video, but for now, this is just the empty home tour. All right, so first entering the house, you come into this little area here. Now, they said this is the living room area, but I'm not gonna be using it as a living room, and I'll show you guys why in a second. I am going to be using this as a little sitting area, and this is going to be where I have a desk, and I'm thinking about putting the desk right over there in that corner, and again, forget about all this crazy stuff down here. Um, we're still living out of suitcases, but um, in this corner right over here, I plan on putting a desk there. And I'm also going to have a couch in here just to make it cozy. And I can't wait to do something amazing with this wall. That way you can just draw the eye there when you walk through the door. Um, there's not gonna be a TV in this area because I want it to be somewhere where I can focus on either filming or editing. Um, I can come here to do my homework. Somebody can come and sit and read a book. Darian can focus on his homework, things like that. So that's pretty much what I'm designating this area for and Sam's upset because I won't let her outside. So now moving on past this area, you have this little closet here. And this is what I'm using to store like extra blankets and things like that. The vacuum cleaner, stuff like that, that is kind of in the way is going to go right in here since there's not really many shelves, but there is a lot of open space down here. Moving on right next door, you have this little, what do they call this? Um, this is a powder room. Here I am. So you have this little powder room area here. You got the toilet and everything. So I haven't done my walkthrough yet, but there is, there's, there's, there's blemishes. Okay, there's a few blemishes, but that's fine. Um, over here, you have this closet here. This is where we keep Sam's litter box because I'm just not sure what to do with it just yet. So what I do is I keep this cracked here and she can go in and out and do her business and it hasn't been an issue. But y'all, I noticed today, there's a freaking light in there. Like I just realized that this morning. Pretty cool. Moving on to this door over here, this is actually the garage. So there is a one car attached to the garage on this unit. And um, you have your bins and everything in here, which mines are full because I'm trying to, um, I need to figure out the schedule again, but I don't think I'm gonna be using this for a garage. Even at my house, I never used the garage as a garage, I just had other stuff in there. So I'm thinking about probably getting some um, gym equipment and stuff in here, just so I can have a little private place to work out and not really have to go to the gym when it comes to lifting weights and stuff like that. I'm not sure yet. Um, we'll see, I'll have to experiment, pull the car in, see how much space I have left to see if I can maybe use it as a garage and have some gym equipment in here. But to be completely honest, I just much rather use it as another little space. If you come over here, you have this little area here. It's like a little nookish area. And I plan on using this as the storage for my military gear because it's just the perfect place to store everything. Um, put some shelves and things over here so I can store everything neatly and that is just a locked door with the um i think it's a water heater and stuff like that in there so i have no need to get in there now coming out of the garage you have the living room and you still have amia and darian over here sleeping on the floor but let me close this 
But yeah, this is the living room. Well, this is what I'm deeming the living room because look how much space is in here. Okay, this is huge. This is more than enough space. I don't even have that much furniture to put in here. But um, this is where the couch and the TV and all that stuff is gonna go, where we're gonna kind of congregate in here. And over here, you have another big closet now yes this looks like it would be a very great closet i can fit a lot of stuff that i don't want to be seen in here but y'all i've been on pinterest just watch what i do with this place y'all gonna know i was on pinterest okay just just wait already got toys and everything on the floor just how i like it and since i haven't had my furniture this is where i've been kind of chilling out in this area here that's why my stuff is there so i think this is going to be my new area right off the living room you have what i'm going to deem the little dining area so i'm going to be placing the table right over here i have to buy more chairs for that said table but i'm super excited to see how everything comes together now you move into the kitchen and everything that you need in the kitchen is in this kitchen you have a fridge you have a stove you have a dishwasher i actually bought the microwave i bought it white to match the appliances um but yeah this place has so much space and then you have a pantry over here as well and again all the space you need now off of the living room as well, there's a little patio area and I'm not gonna open this just yet because I'm trying my hardest to finish this before Mia wakes up. But um, yeah, it's more than enough space out there. You have all this area to play. It's not like it's fenced in or anything. You do have the option to put in the fence. But um, yeah, I think we're gonna have a lot of fun out there. All right, that's enough of downstairs. That's actually the whole downstairs. Let's go ahead and move upstairs so we're gonna start in this room and this is gonna be where angel sleeps she's already in her sleeping so this is gonna be where she sleeps she gets to be nosy she got the window off of the front street with all the nice sunlight in the morning so that's beneficial i'm gonna sneak in here and she has a lot of closet space and stuff in here as well It's more than enough closet space actually. There's some shelves in there. Now right off of her room, there is another pantry. Um, what do you call this? Is this a pantry? But um, yeah, so you have all this space and stuff here. Now moving on, this is going to be Darion's room. And again, he gets to be nosy. He has a window on the front street. But um, yeah, this is gonna be his room. Um, it's about the same size as the one Angel will be in, just a bit smaller and this is going to be his closet again more than enough closet space in here and that's <laughs> that's cute he folded some pants and put them in here <laughs> yeah we're just gonna zigzag across the hall here because this is the washer and dryer hookup we don't have a washer and dryer yet i'm actually going to be getting one very soon because i desperately need one but this is going to come in handy don't know what i want in there yet but it's definitely going to be used whatever it is now across from there again zigzagging you have another little um closet pantry whatever you want to call this store a lot of stuff in man there's so much storage in here and right next to that you have this bathroom here um this very big bath so this is more than enough space. And then you have the little double sinks here. There I am again. <laughs> you have the double sinks and stuff here. Um, a big bathtub. I love how everything was actually really clean. Yes, yeah, I still have to scrub a few things, but overall, this stuff is pretty clean. It's a pretty standard bath. You have a lot of storage space. Um, that seems to be a little theme within this um, apartment. So I like that a lot. Right next door is going to be Amia's room. This is the smallest and she has the same view I have. We get the little scenic view. I can't wait to put her room together because this isn't gonna be the first time that she has. Can I help you? Like, can I help you? <laughs> this isn't gonna be the first time she has her own room, but it is going to be the first time she has had a big girl bed and an actual like full on like, bedroom type of thing um and this is her little closet and more than 
enough space for her. Again, Pinterest is gonna make me do some things that I think I'm really gonna like in here, so stay tuned. So moving on out of Amia's room into my room, the master bedroom. Of course, I had to have the biggest bedroom, but yeah, so this is gonna be my bedroom. I also have that beautiful scenic view as well so i'm super excited about waking up to that in the morning i mean it's a pretty standard room i don't know what i'm gonna do with it yet i'll probably be sleeping on the couch until i figure it out but i got plans okay baby i got plans <laughs> so moving on into the master bath there i am again but yeah so you have the double vanities in here as well i didn't show you guys this in the other one but um yeah i have a medicine cabinet here Oh yeah, I'm vlogging on my phone because I just love the stabilization, just beautiful stabilization. And right behind is gonna be my closet. So you got a little walk-in action going on in here that I'm super excited about. I might have to get some shelves in here for all of my shoes and things, but again, more than enough space. And right off of that, you have this little room here with the tub and the toilet. Cue the noise, because you do have the little thing i don't know what that's called but you have the toilet here as well as this really nice and spacious tub <laughs> it's a lot of space in here so i'm gonna really enjoy the privacy in here i've taken a bath in here a few times and i think i prefer it with the light off it was just so nice it was just so relaxing this door was cracked so what i'm thinking this is about to be my area, okay? This is about to be my area. So I just need to get my candles in there, um, get my little plants and stuff in there. It's about, listen, it's about to be lit. <laughs> all right, guys, that's all I had for this empty apartment tour. I'm actually surprised I made it through the whole thing without waking anyone up. And now I'm about to try to get some breakfast without waking anyone up. As I said before, make sure you're looking out for those future updates and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.